Okay, so let's go ahead and start creating this effect. Notice I have this video clip here of Blake punching, and this is the clip that we're going to use to apply the effect to. Okay, so now I'm in Final Cut Pro. First thing I need to do is add a track, another track. So I have two tracks available here for the editing. Now I'm going to go up and grab this clip here of Blake, move it down to the video layer one. So now I've filled in the first video layer. Now I have to grab the clip again. This time I'm going to bring it on the second video layer so I have two layers of the exact same video clip overlapping each other. Now because I'm going to make a minor adjustment, I'm going to turn off snapping here. Uh, so I have more fine tuning type of control. Now I'm going to take the second layer and I'm moving it over now five frames. So it's five frames behind the first layer. In the next step, I'm going to be messing around with the opacity of the video clip. So I wanted to remind you of what opacity is for those of you who may not be super familiar with this. Basically, it's the transparency. It's referring to the transparency of the video clip. So what I'm going to do is make the video clip more transparent. Here's how you do it. In Final Cut Pro, I click on the Motion tab. Then I click on the Disclosure Triangle right next to the word Opacity. Now I take the slider for the opacity and I move it to 55%. And now I'm done editing for this effect, so I want to do a quick summary of the three main steps. Step number one, have two video clips identical to each other layered on top of each other in the editor. Step number two, move the top layer so that it's five frames behind the bottom layer. So basically it's lagging by five frames. Step number three, set the opacity of the top layer at 55%. So not only is it lagging, it's also going to be somewhat transparent. And here is the before and after of what you get from this effect. Okay, so this is what we started with, Blake punching. And this is the result of our editing. Doesn't it sort of remind you of the Matrix? Thank you, Sherman, for sending in this tip. I really like the effect. Everybody, go give it a shot. Good luck.